The Hall of Fame dinner is extremely important as we recognize the past, build for a positive future, and work uh, tirelessly, tirelessly to produce the best possible product, athletics, uh, day in and day out. The university sees intercollegiate athletics as an important part of the overall education here at Adelphi University. Athletics is very prideful of our graduation rates. It is a huge honor to receive the Frank and Sell Memorial Award. As most of you know, Frank and Sell served as Adelphi's athletic trainer from 1953 to 1974. He came here after an amazing career as a high school <laughs> and after completing his bachelor's degree at Fordham. In my 35 years at Adelphi, I have come to admire, appreciate, and even, har even harbor a little envy for our Adelphi athletes, past and present. While most of my work has had a mainstream academic focus, I have taught baseball and soccer players in Chris Southish Hummer, Chris is in my who use their talent and drive to successfully juggle schedule and demanding majors in biology. Again, I knew at a very young age that I wanted to follow a passion for athletics and make my profession a teacher slash coach. After about 19 and a half years in education, who would have ever thought that I'd be asked to become commissioner of Nassau County Parks and Recreation by the former county executive Tom Swazzle. Um, I had never met the man, um, but to make a long story short, just my name came up as someone who thought it was not political had an interest and a passion for the outdoors, and uh, the rest was history. With the support of my loved wife and my family, uh, I ventured into a new field. <coughs> so I find myself still teaching, still coaching, still mediating, and loving the opportunity to make a positive difference in the lives that I come in contact with. When we here at Adelphi, our time here at Adelphi was very special. When we came here, not only did we study hard, we also played hard, and we ran hard. Also, as I look out, I see other track members who was here before me, and I'd like to thank them also for coming here, not only supporting me, but also the other honorees. Thanks for this uh, prestigious uh, honor, and I will do my best to stand proud and, and, and where it's on the way. I can clearly remember Jill making a quote during halftime at our 2004 championship game down by five goals, and she turned to us and said, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? Needless to say, that gave us enough motivation to win our first, and a few years later, our second national title, which ultimately put Adelphi women's lacrosse on the map for good. Being an alumni and now a Hall of Fame inductee, I will forever be tied to Adelphi University and I will always be proud to be a Panther. Mr. Turner volunteered his time to coach young people like myself growing up in Brooklyn. His model was education first, athletics second, but use athletics to get your education. And that's what, exactly what I did. It's important for people like him to help out the youth because the youth is the future. And that's what a university is all about. A university is actually about the future. All the things that we dream and wish the university would have been, it now is. So it's a long time coming and congratulate to, to the university, for the alumni, and all the great hard work that has made the university what it is today. Um, the idea of making it to Florida and winning a national championship was so, like, a lofty goal that we never could have even imagined would have happened. But with the girls, some of the girls that are here tonight and those of the girls who can be here, we accomplished that goal. Um, I'd like to ex express my sincere gratitude to all the people here at Adelphi who have made playing so amazing. Um, Jill's not here tonight, but she's the big reason why I'm here. And she helped us win the first Women's National Championship. Um, next also, Suzette's not here, but she's a huge reason why um, you know, I'm here. She nominated me, and she was such a big supporter of our program. Um, as you know, my two brothers came to Adelphi. I wanted to come here. I watched them play lacrosse. They were phenomenal. They were my role models. 
Um, they lost two quarterfinal games leading to the, to the Final Four in Division One, and I was a young kid watching, and my dream was, oh my God, I want to go there and avenge my brother's losses. Um, that following year, my first year we were D1, we went to D2 the next year. Um, I was never able to, to win a national championship in D1 because it was not possible, but that was my goal coming here as a freshman, and we won two national championships in D2, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, to me, uh, lacrosse is the ultimate team game. And as you know, uh, I would not be standing here if it wasn't for my teammates. And though many of them are, are here tonight. Throughout my college career, I was fortunate to play with so many outstanding players and be teammates with so many great guys. Uh, through all the good times and the bad, and all the wins and all the losses, the one thing I can always count on was my teammates. To all my teammates, all you are truly special to me. And I have memories of all of you on the field, but more importantly, it's memories off the field that I will never forget. It's truly an honor for me to be inducted tonight. Uh, it's, a, it's a humbling experience, uh, and I, I will always be honored to say that I was a Panther at Delphi University. Nestled in the heart of Nassau County, Long Island, the Panther softball team took hold of the 1984 spring season and, in just three short months from March to May, would go on record as the most successful campaign in program history, making waves locally, regionally, and nationally, and putting Adelphi softball on the map. A small fish in a big Division I pond, the Panthers mixed it up all year with some powerful names like Northwestern, Ohio University, North Carolina, and Indiana University. Despite dropping their first game to Michigan State by a score of 1-0, Adelphi would go on to post a 42-7 and record which included a still-standing 22-game win streak and earned their second trip to the NCAA Division I College World Series. Thank you. Thank you all again, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you so much for this honor. Um, it's incredible to be here tonight, and congratulations to everyone else here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, University. Good night.